Hello everybody, I'm Crydax and welcome back to channel update number five. I just wanted to come back and update you guys with how full-time content creation has been going. Uh, it's been great so far, spoiler alert. Uh, talk a little bit about formats and streaming versus videos and all of that. Uh, we're talking about Satisfactory 1.0 and the streams with that. And then I want to talk a little bit about some Patreon updates. So without any further ado, I want to update you guys on how it's been going. We've done a month of full-time content creation and it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. I know one of the measures of success was, does it still feel like work or do I hate my job or do I love my hobby still? And it's very much still in the, I love my hobby phase, which is great. Uh, the consistency has been really nice. I've enjoyed kind of the consistent workflow. And on that note, we have an official stream schedule. If you haven't seen on the discord already, um, it is Monday, one to five, Tuesday and Thursday, 11 to four. That is Eastern US time. And currently I'm live streaming or multi-streaming to both Twitch and YouTube Live. So you can find me on either platform. It's possible the YouTube Live might get cut sometimes due to my computer not being able to handle doing both of those and recording at the same time because my computer has to do all three. Um, that depends. And I'll do more streams than that as they come up. I've already done some weekend streams and with Satisfactory coming up, we certainly will do more. The financial element is the only part that's still lacking, um, but that's to be expected, right? We, we've only been doing this for a month and there's a lot more time for that to continue to grow. So I'm not really concerned about that, but just kind of continuing to update you guys on the process. Uh, we've made some progress. There's some new patrons, you know, ad revenues up a little bit, but it's still pretty far from being able to, you know, put all the food on the table, so to speak. So I want to talk a little bit about streams versus videos. And YouTube is notoriously bad at their live. Basically, streaming on YouTube is bad. <laughs> it's nice. The VOD replay is nice. Uh, it's nice that they're already on YouTube. I don't have to export from Twitch to YouTube and then mess with a bunch of stuff. I can just leave it and it shows up in the live section and you guys can go watch the live VOD. That's two thumbs up. And that's about the only good thing about it. I guess the other good thing is you can stream in 1440p, but I don't have that resolution anyway, so it doesn't really matter for me. Um, the thing is, though, the streams do not provide a good return on investment in terms of my time compared to like how many people actually end up seeing it. The, the streams don't do anywhere near as well as the videos. And so my um, decision here is we're going to actually release the stream sections as videos again. And that's kind of classic Crydox. That's what you guys have seen me doing for years with Factorio content. And I'm going to be going back to that for Satisfactory and uh, Factorio 2.0 because I think it's just much more bite sized for people and YouTube properly markets the videos. The problem is YouTube does the algorithm doesn't do the same things with the live sections. And they are these big four or five hour videos that people, I think, are a little bit intimidated by, which is totally understandable. And they don't even show up in the same tab. You have to go to like Crydax and then it's not in the videos tab. It's in the live tab. And so it doesn't mesh them together well, even if, you know, for me as a content creator, it's kind of like, yeah, I want those live videos to basically be treated as if I released a video. It doesn't treat it the same way. So all that to say, I'm going to be going back to that format. That doesn't mean there will be no more straight to YouTube content. It just means that the primary form, at least for the release of Satisfactory and Space Age, Factorio Space Age, at least for the releases, I'm going to be just kind of doing a classic Crydax Let's Play. I'm not going to be heavily editing. And so those are going to be me streaming, ideally multi-streaming if my computer can handle it, and then also recording those 40 to 60 minute segments where I can release those as individual videos, hopefully daily. Um, I'm planning to stream often enough that we can release those videos daily for a good amount of time. So that's how that that's going to work. Um, as far as on my own end, there's also been some tension when I kind of think about a game. It's like, do I want to stream that? Do I want to make YouTube videos about it? Do I want to do edited YouTube videos about it? There's a lot of options and I've kind of found myself sometimes getting a little paralyzed of like, uh, which way do I want to play that game? And so far streaming has been decent, but I think at the end of the day, it's better if I make YouTube series for most games. So I'm probably going to be turning all of my streams or almost all of my streams into YouTube videos as well. Kind of like I just talked about with those 40 to 60 minute segments. I just think that works out a lot better. 
Um, if that ends up not being true, we can always switch back. This is all a little bit of experimentation and we're figuring things out together. So we'll, we'll see what works best. And yeah, so all that to say, you can expect to see some more mixtures of content forms. I might do a stream on a game and then switch over to YouTube videos. I might do it vice, vice versa. Um, there's a lot of games where I think there might be a lot of people who watch it and then nobody watches it. So I'm like, why make more videos on it? Because really... At this point, with this being my job, if if a game gets z basically zero views, I'm not going to keep making videos on it. It just doesn't make sense for me to keep putting work time into that. Now, there might be some games where I'm enjoying it so much that I want to keep with it. Like Oxygen Not Included is a good example of that. Um, the viewership has been fairly low. I'd say very low even on that series, but I've really been having a lot of fun playing the game. I'm going to keep playing the game and there's enough people viewing it that I can tell are enjoying the ride and appreciating it that I'm going to keep going with that series, at least for a little while, um, just because I'm enjoying it. So clearly there's still a little bit of that give and take. Like I, I want to make content about the games I want to play because you guys as viewers want to see me playing things that I enjoy. So obviously I'm not going to play random games I hate just because they get more views, but there's a give and take. And so if something's getting no views, it's going to get less likely to be produced by me. Uh, and so, for example, with that like Kerbal Space program, I love the game to death, but the viewership is pretty low on that. So I don't think there's going to be a ton of KSP content coming on this channel. Um, I could see myself doing a longer YouTube series for that because I think that fits a little better than a live stream, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, in a more exciting news, Satisfactory 1.0 is just around the corner, September 10th, Tuesday. Um, I think they confirmed the time is actually not 2 to 4 UTC. What did they confirm? I think it was 5 p.m. Central Eastern, which is 3 p.m. UTC which is 11 a.m. my time. So I will be streaming ideally right when it launches. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm planning to stream basically all day so you guys can hang out and uh, enjoy the ride as we, you know, chop, chop, chop on some iron and get going with iron plates and see how far we can get. Um, I'm going to play pretty much daily uh, as much as I can. I have plans that weekend, but yeah, I'm I'm going to blast through Satisfactory 1.0. I'm really excited for the release. They've already spoiled some things and there's some things that are unspoiled. So I'm just really excited to see what all they've added and all the new stuff. So I hope you guys can join me for that journey. I've got a couple of Patreon updates. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you to all the new patrons. Um, really, you guys are providing the support I need to keep going with this. And I continue to be blown away by the support you guys offer, whether it's just uh, chatting on Discord, commenting on YouTube videos, joining the Patreon, even if it's the $2 support tier, like I cannot thank you guys enough. Truly, it's amazing. And even all the views on the YouTube videos and the YouTube live videos and the comments, you know, comments, the live comments on Twitch and YouTube, all of it drives the algorithm forward. And as much as I wish it was simpler. Like we do have to kind of bend the knee to the to the algorithm gods sometimes. So you guys are all helping. And I want to shout out all the new patrons since the last uh, channel update. So that, thank you to Alexander Wales. Thank you, Lord Moldmaker. Thank you, Sir Moosen. Thank you, Christopher H. Thank you, Bulby B. And thank you to Edison EF. You guys are great. Thank you for joining. I just wanted to give you a shout out. One other small thing with Patreon is at all tiers, including the $2 month tier, there's a birthday month shout out. So every month I shout out the Patreons who have a birthday in that month. The problem is I don't know your birthday and most of you who support me on Patreon have not told me your birthday month. So please tell me, let me know either in Discord, you can send me a message on Patreon directly, you can, heck, you can let me know here in the YouTube comments, uh, wherever you can, let me know what your birthday month is so I can put it on my list and then I can shout out uh, your birthday. Currently, I only have three people of all the Patreons who have told me their birthday month. So I need you guys to tell me what it is. And then a quick just kind of run through of the Patreon tiers in case you're interested in supporting me. The $2 tier, you get a gold Discord color along with birthday month shout outs. Um, and the $5 tier, you get your name in the credits at the end of all my videos. You get a shout out like I just did, and you get put in the name randomizer, which I am going to be using a lot more. I've already been using that in, I used it in my Kerbal Space Program play. I've used it in uh, Oxygen Not Included, naming all the dupes. And I'm going to be naming, I think, train stops. 
Probably. We'll see what all can be named in Factorio. I don't know if rockets and or space stations can be named, but I will be naming things in my Factorio run after uh, Patreon supporters as well. So if you want to get your name in the randomizer, that's the $5 tier. And then there's the $10 tier. That is the, um, you get a new color in Discord, which is kind of the Crydax green that you see in my logo over there. And uh, the channel planning team, which is a channel where we kind of figure out like, oh, should I try this game or that game? And, and sometimes I do those polls on YouTube, but I will send spoilers if I'm making a, a new series on, on something. And I, Right now, there's not a ton of activity on that because a lot of the people at this support tier just aren't super active on Discord, which is totally fine. But I just want you to know if you join at that tier or above, you are always free to ping me uh, in that channel. Like that is kind of the you get access to Crydax channel. You already do in Discord, right? Like I'm very active on Discord already, but I just want you to know that like I want to be available at that support tier to kind of have direct conversations about the the channel and the content that I'm making. So please feel free to ping me in that channel at uh, that tier and above uh, the $20 tier. I haven't quite figured out the best things to put at that tier yet. So at the moment, it's just added support. And then the $40 and up tier, you actually get to pick a game for me to play, which is kind of a fun one, um, obviously, like. If you're supporting me at that tier, you have you've earned the right to to kind of to help pick some of the direction of the channel. So I want to make sure you guys feel like you're you're getting your money's worth with that. And on that note, I'll just ask you guys to once again consider supporting the channel. It's your money. You know what to do with it. I'd ask that you guys decide if you're getting your money's worth or not. You should be constantly evaluating that for all the things you spend money on, um, Patreon included. Um, but of course, the support that you guys can offer me on Patreon, I'm ever grateful for that and cannot thank you enough. And on top of that, you're supporting me just by watching this, just by leaving a comment here on YouTube or just by chatting on Discord and being a part of the community. I think that's one of the best things that Crydania has to offer is the community that's been built around it. It's so much bigger than just me at this point. It's not just Crydax, it is Crydania. And I do really feel like you guys have been such an awesome community and I can't thank you enough for that. That's, that's gonna be the end of it for this channel update. Pretty short and sweet. I'm excited to dive back into Satisfactory and we'll be doing Doing that here in just a few days leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think um also there's always kind of an open ask me anything section to these videos so if you have any questions it doesn't have to be related to content it doesn't have to be related to the games i play if you have any questions at all feel free to put them in the comments and i will try to answer them in the next channel update video as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one